So of all the reasons for tropical deforestation, the foremost is beef. And beef is one of the most inefficient uses of resources on the planet. In the US, 47% of land is used for food production. And of that, the lion's share is just to grow feed for cattle. The things that we actually eat, like fruit, vegetable, nuts, it's a percent. Most importantly, cows produce methane, and methane is a powerful greenhouse gas. The way cows produce methane is they eat as much as they can, and when they are chewing, a whole bunch of methane is burped uh, through the mouth uh, into the atmosphere. The atmosphere has much more CO2 in it, but methane is far more impactful. Every molecule of methane is equivalent to 23 molecules of CO2. And of the methane in the atmosphere, nearly all of it is due to livestock. In comparison to emissions from other sources, what kind of percentage are we talking about come from the consumption of beef? About uh, 10, 12% of the total US emissions is due to beef. It's staggering. But it's very easy to envision a dietary shift, even as minor as switching, let's say, from beef to an alternative, let's say even chicken. The chicken will require 20% of the land and 10% of the greenhouse gas emissions. And if you compare rice or potato or wheat, beef requires 50 times as much land. So even cutting the amount of beef that you eat in half or by a quarter could make a significant difference. A very significant. Do you, do you at all think that that's even a possibility considering that beef is so a part of our culture? Maybe not everybody's ready to eat tofu, you know, 24 seven, I get that. But even if you just have to have some flesh between your teeth, if you switch to chicken, you will have eliminated 80% of what you emit, depending on where you're coming from. Let's face it, it's fairly easy to switch your diet from one choice to another. 